exactly how to take a thread dump of a Java application. So here I have a simple Spring Boot application where I have exposed this test thread mapping and what it will do, it will just call this network util class to get a host name. Okay, so this is the sample code. If we get any exception, I'm just catching this exception here and just returning no host found. Okay, so this application is already started and it is started on 9080 port. I'll just clear this log and let's go to here. So we are working on 9080 and I, my controller is test so it will take some time because ok so it is printing this host name Narendra's macbook pro local ok so now what I wanted to do is we want to see how to take thread dumps ok so when I'm taking a thread, what I want to do is like I want to do some operations. So I'm what I'm doing is I'm doing a simple AB command. If you don't know AB command, you can just check in the internet what it is. So AB command is a command where you can do a simple load testing of your app. So what we are going to do is we are just bombarding a number of requests to our application. Okay. So it will take some time to respond and meanwhile we'll take a thread dump so that we have something to see in our thread dumps. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do AB and just tell like how many requests I want to fire. I want to do hyphen n 50 request. Concurrency is 3. I can just give the URL. Okay. So I'm just passing it here and so benchmarking has already started and it will take some time so meanwhile what we can do is we can see JPS so it will show us what are the different applications running so in my case my application name is Flipkart application and this is the process ID so what I can do is I can use a JSTAC command which is the standard command can see here JSTAC is there okay, JSTAC hyphen L what I have to do is I have to give this ID okay it's not coming just type it 28596 JSTAC bit and what I can give here is jump.txt okay so it so let's say it has created a file or not okay it has created meanwhile what i will do i'll just close this ab okay so what we were doing here is we were just bombarding 100 request and now let's see our thread dump <coughs> okay so we have here logs it is telling the thread state runnable parking and all that so what i want to look here is if i just want to look here whether my threads are actually blocked or not if any of the thread is blocked okay so what we can see here is the thread state is blocked and let's see if I, we can get something here so what we can see here is network util dot java dot 10 it is blocked here Let's see if we have any other thread also like this. So at a time we can have three threads, three different calls which are coming. See when there is one more block thread. We have close to three threads, so 24, 22, like this. Okay, so by thread terms, what we can do is we can analyze the performance of our application and we can see actually are there any threads which are blocked or not or everything is working fine or not okay so this was the first way I'll just quit that quit this okay and I'll just do the next command so what we have next is we can also do kill minus 3 okay so kill minus 3 I have to give the process ID so process ID will be same command C command V so here you can see we don't have any thread dump. Let's do ls. There is dump.txt which was created 
by the JSTAC command. So what kill will do, it will actually print your thread dump on the standard error console. So in our case, it is because the application is only running on the Apache Tomcat, which is Spring Boot's internal. So here we can see the thread dump again. Okay, let's see if there's any thread is blocked or not. Okay, currently there are no requests which are coming in with the AB. We have closed the AB. So you can see that now nothing is blocked in this case. Okay, let's clear that again. And let's go to the terminal. Let's start that AB again. And meanwhile, it's doing, we will do a kill minus three. Let's go to the application again. And now you can see again we have this thread dump printed here. Let's see if we can find any block thread. See, we can find here that this thread is blocked. Let's see if it's any other is also blocked. Okay, this is also blocked. So what is the reason of block that we will see later on. Okay, so see there is one thread which is actually runnable. And the other threads on same things are blocked. So at a time we have concurrency equals to three. Three three requests will be coming to Spring Boot app. And in this case, one is working in the thread is in the runnable state, the other two are in blocked state. Okay, so we understood the second way as, as well. The third is the J Visual VM. So Visual VM actually is the standard again, the standard tool which comes with the JDK. Let me see if the J stack is working or not. AB is sorry, AB is working or not. I will do what I will do is I will start it again. Okay. Okay, let me connect to this application 28596 Flipkart application. So don't go with the name, just a sample name which I have given. Okay, it will take some time to connect. Okay, so here we are at the overview tab. We can see the paid, the host. Okay, we can see other, other JVM arguments. In, our, in my case, I have given this arguments G1, GC to use the garbage first garbage collector. And this is the initial static heap, maximum heap. Okay, let's go to the threads. So there I have a thread dump tab. Just click on this thread dump. Okay, we got the thread dump now. So just see whether we have again some blocked states. Okay, so this is renewable. Get host name. So this is actually working. Let's see if something else. Okay, we can see here is there is a block thread. Okay, and it is also telling at which level network util dot get host name network util dot java thing. Similarly, because we have given concurrency equals to three, so at a time there will be three threads will be which will be working. So one is blocked, one is runnable, and the another one is again blocked. Okay, so these are the three ways which we can take a thread dump. Okay, I can do what what I if I want to save, I can do save as and I can just give some dump dot txt. Okay, and it will be saved. Okay, so now let's go to the application again and let's see what is the reason actually it is actually this we are seeing threads has blocked. Okay, so when we go to this get local host, okay, what you can see it is doing some operations operation and then we have a synchronized. So when this synchronized we reach this level, this there is a lock, okay. And the first thread acquires this lock, the other two threads, the concurrent, two other concurrent requests which are coming will be blocked here. So that's what we are seeing. So in your application, if you see something like this, that you are seeing the threads are blocked and or you have a degrade performance in your applications, in that cases, we can see these thread terms. We can an analyze our application's performance. Okay. So thank you very much, guys. And please subscribe my channel. Bye, take care.